Okay. Right. Hello, everyone. So, yes, good kind of conversation. Beaches, lovely places, but boy, are they difficult to access uh, with limb loss. So, yeah, finding solutions could involve, we could all collectively put a book together, maybe, couldn't we? Uh, or something for limb power as a resource. I think Kira mentioned that. Uh, so, our seaweed movement comes from Chen Tai Chi. Uh, and Chen Tai Chi has this very kind of strong emphasis on having a really good connection, a very good firm base of support. So we've been talking about connections. So again, let's just explore that idea of shifting weight. It could be in a seat. So you could be sat down, but you are thinking about getting some weight shift from one side to the other. And again, that kind of gives us a nice, lilty, calm, boat-like feel, doesn't it? A little bit of a roll, but nothing too strenuous or difficult about it. And we just go with that roll. So that's always a good movement. So important. Again, I've got a bit of a hip that's playing up a, a bit, but that's okay. I'm just paying attention, listening, not moving into pain, just like so. Okay, so let's just center. Let's just continue with a little bit. We'll get into seaweed in a moment, but let's pick our hands up. We're going to turn the hands over sort of as they go overhead. We'll look to the left, drop the left hand, and again, we'll tilt our boat to the right in the opposite direction. And then slowly, slowly recenter and come back. So we're opening the bow as we bring the hands up. This time I'm looking to my right, tilting the boat to my left with a bit of weight shift. So again, we're just getting used to this idea that we're in control of our body weight and that we know just where the balance points are which is actually a really useful thing, especially when you're in the sea and there's that buoyancy effect happening as well. And if you do have waves, it can sometimes help just to avoid losing balance. I think if we write nicely to Kira and say we would like to kind of go to Catalonia and just explore for research purposes, of course, um, and create some resources for uh, the beach edition of Limb Power, uh, maybe she'd fix it for us. <laughs> so, sounds like a good idea to me. Okay, I'm going to do one more to each side. Fab. Okay. Have a little swing of the arms and a little shake out. Okay, let me come a little bit nearer. So, um, so let's move into this little form. Um, this form created by Dr. Paul Lam. That's the form that we're doing uh, of the Tai Chi for, in tai Chi for Health Institute fame. Um, is a little kind of mashup. It's a mashup of Yang style movements at the beginning. And then the seaweed bit, Kate, uh, and folks is from Chen Tai Chi. So hopefully this is familiar territory at first. We're going to do a nice chi shu movement. We're just going to lift the hands up, drop them down, and then we're going to go again. But this time we're going to roll the hands over. We've got my, which hand have I got on top? Right hand on top. And then I'm going to find our window and table and then gently take the hands off to that side 
exchange hands and now we're into yang style tai chi so the backs of the hands are facing outwards and we've got this nice sweep of the hands from one side to the other so already that's very kind of watery in its feel could almost say the hands have that seaweedy is that a word kind of flow to them from one side and then to the other. So let's see if we can all have the left hand on top and we're going to end up on the left. And then we're going to bring the right hand on top. But then we're going to bring the left hand up. And we end up holding a beach ball. Let's keep with the beach. Let me turn to the side so you can see. And that beach ball is going to expand. And then it's going to contract. Okay, so here's the seaweedy bit. Seaweedy. I'm not sure if that's a word or not. Um, so we're going to go to our right hip. So just be aware, your right hip. So we're going to take the hands down to the right hip, like so. And then we're going to sweep across to the left hip. And then we're going to let them sort of drag up. This is the seaweedy bit up to the left shoulder. And then we're going to do a little circle. So we're going to circle to the left and sweep them round to the left. And then we're going to come back and find our beach ball again and do an open and close. I don't think I've done all of that with you before. Let me know. So that's one side. So we went to the right hip the first time, and then we go down to the left hip. We sweep the hands across to the right, and then they, the fingers kind of drag behind, and we bring them up towards the left shoulder, and then we're going to do a circle. So we're going to do a circle round, and then I'm going to sweep them to the right, bring them back. And once again, we're going to find ourselves with that beach ball. And then an open and close. We're going to come into that embrace with our dance partner. Hopefully, you've got your left hand on top. And then we go to the left. And we do three more sequences of wave hands in clouds. Just like that. This is the last one. So I'm going to head to the right. And the right hand's going to drop. We're going to pick it up. There's our beach ball again. We're going to do one more. And then we're just going to let the hands drop. And there we go. There's our little seaweedy form. So actually, I don't think I've done that incomplete with you. I think I gave us a little bit of seaweediness and not all of it. Okay. So should we do that again? Let me do it seated for people who might be joining us seated, but it's the same same thing. <clears throat> okay. So if we're seated, hands can be on the thighs or if you've got room, hanging loosely. And if you're standing, just make sure you've got a bit of a base of support. Here we go. We're going to pick the hands up. Shisha. Down again. Again, if we can kind of have sea-like themes. Here we go again. And we're going to bring the right hand on top. So that's the top hand here in the embrace. We go to the right first of all, and we get into wave hands. So again, try to have hands and fingers that evoke that flow of seaweed in the sea gently. Going with the movement of the current and the waves. So, 
So I'm going once more to my right. And then I'm coming towards my left. So hopefully we're roughly in that position. The left hand drops. We pick it up and this is where we kind of transition into catching a beach ball. And we let that beach ball expand, squeeze back. So if you remember, we're now in this seaweedy sequence down to the right hip, across to the left hip. We're going to let the hands lift back up to the right. And then I sweep them in a circle towards the left over the top. And then I sweep them round to the left. And then bring them back, turning the palms until we come back to catch our beach ball. Okay, let's do an open and close. And then we go down to the left. A sweep across to the right. And then the fingers drag back up to the left. And then we sweep them around. And then around to the right, sweeping round. Turn the hands around and bring them back. We you don't have to make wee noises. Catch your peach ball. Do a open and close. And then we're going to get the left hand on top in our embrace for wave hands. And now we're heading back, so to speak, in the other direction, like so. We just go through each cycle. Three complete times. So I'm coming to the right. I'm going to drop that right hand, and this time it picks up. We catch our beach ball for the last time, open and close. And then we just let the hands drop and come back down. Okay. It's kind of one of those sequences that I think. You can tell me at the end, following along a little bit rather than trying to break it down can be helpful. Um, I'll go another time through this and I'll see if I can, again, hopefully be a bit more clearer with positions in terms of lefts and rights. Um, don't worry if it does go awry. Again, nothing bad's happening. Okay, so here we go from the beginning. Hands on knees if you sat down with me or hands by the sides, again, even if you are seated, try to have this good connection with the ground, okay? So again, if we've got seaweed, it's got um, either a clasp to a rock or it's kind of rooted in the sand or, or in the seabed. So have that sense that you've got all of this movement above that's very lilty and motile and there's all sorts of verbiage we could use. Um, but we've got a firm base of support from which to work. Here we go. We'll bring the hands up in Chisha. Down again. And as we bring them up, we're getting the right hand on top for our embrace. Here we go to the right. To the left. Swap hands. Back to the right again. Then to the left. So that counts as the second cycle. Here we go to the right once more. This is our final drift to the left. That left hand drops. We lift the right hand, but this time we're finding that beach ball. There it is. Now we get a little bit of rest and repose as we go through that open and close movement. So right hip, that kind of gets us orientated. So let's just drop the hands down, very soft. Left hip, so we 
I like to think of a surface to sweep the hands along. Just be very intuitive with the hands. As we get to that side, we just let the fingers kind of really drop and then we're just dragging them almost back up on that right side. And then we sweep them down and around in a circle and then sweep hands and arms all the way around to the left. Turn my hands around, palms are facing, sweep them back. But as we do so, it's as if someone throws a beach ball and we catch it in slow motion. And then open and close. That's it. So now we're going to do the same, but this time we start by letting the hands drop to the left hip. We sweep them to the right hip. We let the fingers just be very seaweedy and drag up to the left shoulder. And the fingers sweep down, around. And then we can sweep hands and arms all the way around to the right. Turn the hands around, sweep them back, and again, slow motion catch of our beach ball. There it is. Open and close. And then we get in position, left hand on top for wave hands. Go to the left, get into the rhythm of wave hands now, heading to the right. Back to the left. Again to the right. Back to the left. This is the last time on that left side. Here we go to the right for the last time. As I drop that right hand down, it picks up. And again, we've got this slow motion catch pop as our beach ball. One more, open and close, and back. And then just let the hands melt away. Is that okay? Does that work? Um, I like it. Uh, thanks, Kate, for reminding me, because, um, yeah, I think all that talk of seasides, yeah, kind of acted as a prompt to, to pick up on that seaweedy feel of, flow and and just softness and and yeah feels very nice if you can picture the warmth and the sunshine and the scene around you as well then it really becomes a kind of visual a little meditation doesn't it you can put yourself in a nice headspace so i'm going to stand back up again and we'll go through this one more time And we'll bring the breath in a little bit as well. We'll use those little rest points of the open and closes to have a purposeful breath. Okay. So, yeah, I don't need to be too far away. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a wider stance. Again, that will mean different things for different people. But again, a good stance, a sense of having a good base of support. Are we ready? Let me count us in. One, two, three. So. I'm picking the hands up. So the more we can kind of use our imagery to have this sense of seaweed. So I pick up and bring him a right hand on top for our wave hands. And I can turn the hips now I'm stood up to help lend more movement. And a little bit of weight shift as well can happen as well from one side to the other. Here I am heading to the left again. Another exchange, heading to the right for the last time. Back to the left. So if you think about it, as we begin to do this exchange, instead we turn it into a slow motion catch. There's our beach ball. So just settle with that beach ball, elbows nice and relaxed and down. 
and then catch an in-breath, like catching a wave. And then just let the breath go. And we can just breathe comfortably again as we drop the hands to the right, if you remember. And then we sweep them across to the left. This is where the fingers drag and we sweep them back up to the right. And then they circle down, up and around. That's the tricky bit, I think. And then we sweep the hands, the hips can turn if you stood up. Turn the hands over and sweep them back. And as we do so, here's that slow motion transition into catching our beach ball again. There it is, elbows heavy, breath in, breath out. And now we're heading to the left hip to sweep across to the right hip. Bringing the fingers and hands up to the left shoulder. Hands sweep down and round. And then we're sweeping them completely around. Again, I can look in that direction to the right. Turn my hands over, sweep them back. And as I do so, here's our slow motion catch beach ball once again. Heavy elbows. And then here's a breath. And let it go. And then we get left hand on top ready for our transition back into wave hands. Once again, we get some weight shift, some rotation. As we go through that sequence. So yeah, it's got a nice feel to it, I hope. We're kind of embracing blue skies, warm sunshine, happy days on the beach, maybe a nice kind of Campari and soda or drink of your choice. Here we go for our beach ball one more time. Again, heavy elbows, breath in, breath out. And then finish. Excellent. So should we make that a little feature for the next few weeks and it becomes hopefully a little kind of sequence or set of sequences, a nice, simple, little, lilty, tai chi form. Um, as I said, it's made up primarily of yang style with the wave hands, chen style with this seaweedy lilty sweeps of the hands and actually we've got a third style this open and close comes from sun style tai chi so we've actually got three tai chi styles that have been kind of brought together in a rather clever way i would suggest because they seem to fit quite nicely to give us this complete little compact tai chi sequence Okay, um, are we okay for another couple of minutes or so? I know some people needed to get off, but if you are happy to continue, I want you to get your money's worth, so to, so to speak. Um, so, okay, so let's uh, keep a little bit with our seaside theme. Um, let's, what can we do? I'm just thinking now. Let's go with... Um, Let's go for a little bring the moon down to the earth. But again, let's picture ourselves on a beach, but now it's nighttime, okay? Stars above. We haven't got all the glare of the lights behind us from the bar. We've ended up on a beach where we've got some nice kind of cover from the excess light. So we've got a lovely sky. We've got the liltiness of the sea. We've got the sand beneath our feet, and we've got a full moon up on the right uh, above us. So we're just going to look up to that moon, embrace that moon, and again, if you can get some weight shift across, bring the hands up, bring them down, and then bring that moon down. And I almost imagine that we place the moon into the sea almost, and it kind of melts away. I'm just going to step back a bit because I know my hands are disappearing. 
Uh, left side, so the moon is on the left side. So I'm a bit of a weight shift, a bit of a look up, a reach up to embrace that moon, bring it back. And then, as I say, in my mind's eye, I'm lowering the moon and it melts into the ocean or the sea. Let's go back up to the right. Bring the moon down, gently in the water, just like that. Here we go to the left. So it's a lovely long movement, involves a lot of stabilization through the trunk in order to keep our balance. So work within a range that suits you. Here I go to the right again. And then once more, up to the left. Bring. Excellent, good job. So let's go a little through our three phase closure. So first of all, pushing the hands forward bringing them up and back towards ourselves, down. And if I turn a little bit, you can see that I push the fingers forward and up and we're scooping towards ourselves and then a gentle press down. Could be a breath in as we lift and scoop up towards ourselves and let that breath go on the press down. And then we're lifting up and out to the side, folding at the elbows. And again, a gentle press. Once again, that could be a nice in breath as we lift, come over the top and then just let the breath be the thing that delivers that press down. Here we go one more time on this particular little set. And finally, we go large, up, overhead as far as you feel comfortable, lift the head even, and then bring the hands down. So we've got lots of time to just bring everything together. Again, it could be a very big breath in as we have the opportunity to lift the rib cage, room for the diaphragm, and then we can breathe out. And then there comes a point when we can just breathe very naturally. And then we do one more final lift and down. Just like that. So there you go. Um, I hope that's been enjoyable. Seaside theme uh, with seaweed making a return. <laughs> so let me wish you a good evening. Those of you who are watching later, let me stop the recording. Um, any feedback from people who are with me now? Let me know how that went. Let me just hit stop.